My daughter was lucky enough to go to Iceland last year. After all those years of Vikings rampaging and pillaging, they thought they'd send uh, a group of girls from a, a, a grammar school in Kent up to Vikingland in Iceland to get revenge for them. Eat all their chocolates, crisps and anything that's edible. Anyway, so she went up there and she said, I'm not going up there just to eat all their crisps and chocolates and anything edible. She said, Dad, I'm going up there to see a volcano. A volcano. Well, I looked on Wikipedia and it's apparently some hill with a little hole in the top where hot things come out of. Ooh, well, that's cool. But she also said, oh, Dad, I'm going up there 3,000 miles to see a geezer. I thought, hmm, that sounds a bit dodgy. Going all that way to see a geezer. They say, my day, young ladies used to go to say a friend on sea to see a geezer. But things change. She goes, but, but Dad, but Dad, they spout every 30 minutes. They're reliable. I thought, well, that's what they said in South End. Anyway, it turns out that this is a geological feature, a bit like a volcano, but made with fairy liquid, just like my washing up bowl. So as it is in Iceland, there's underground heating that occurs. There's lots of fairy liquid down there. And what happens, you get lots of bubbles. This is actually an ice cap. And so what happens is this. Think of this as a geezer, and what happens is such. Woo! Yeah. And there you go, she went to Iceland to see that. She could have stayed here and done some washing up. She never does the washing up. She's missed out.